Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels, and this week, the parable of the weeds from the Gospel of Matthew. Another parable he proposed to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened to a man that sowed good seeds in his field. But while men were asleep, his enemy came and oversowed cockle among the wheat and went his way. Matthew thirteen twenty four to 25 A lot of information right off the bat. The seeds being sown by the man are wheat seeds. This translation of the Bible complicates matters a little by using the word cockle for the plant being sown in his field by an enemy. Most people who hear the word cockle will immediately think of a type of seashell, which doesn't sprout or grow at all. However, there is a plant called darnel, or tares, which is sometimes referred to as cockle, and that seems to be what they're referring to here. Darnell is a type of weed that's unique from other weeds in that it's very hard to tell the difference between it and actual wheat. In fact, until modern sorting machines were developed, there was no real way to tell the difference until the ear appeared. Darnell ears tend to form a sort of jagged shape, while wheat is bunched more closely together, and there are a lot of other telltale signs at that point. However, while the seed is still in the early stages of growth, it's very hard to tell the difference. Darnell would be the perfect kind of weed to sow in an enemy's field if you wanted to cause them the maximum amount of harm with the least chance of them being able to undo what you did. And when the blade was sprung up and had brought forth fruit, then appeared also the cockle. And the servants of the good men of the house coming said to him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in thy field? Whence then hath it cockle? Matthew thirteen twenty six to 27 in this parable, Jesus is using the wheat to represent the faithful, the darnel to represent evildoers, and his servants are people who go out to teach others his word, or perhaps angels. This question of how evil has managed to pop up everywhere, despite the fact that God never created evil, is a very common one among those trying to serve God. His answer is also included in the parable. And he said to them, An enemy hath done this. And the servants said to him, Wilt thou that we go and gather it up? And he said, No, lest perhaps gathering up the cockle, you root up the wheat also together with it. Matthew thirteen twenty-eight to 29 Evil doesn't come from God, it comes from others abusing their free will. In this case, someone who's decided to oppose God, usually assumed to be Satan, but it's not spelled out in the parable itself. This could very well refer to a malicious person who misuses their influence to spread evil propaganda. The servants want to prevent the Darnell from using up all the nutrients meant for the wheat, and they could probably get rid of them all if they really put some effort in, but since they can't tell the difference until the plants are grown, some good wheat would be lost in the process. Suffer both to grow until the harvest, and in the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers, gather up first the cockle and bind it into bundles to burn, but the wheat gather ye into my barn. Matthew 13.30 it's not a good situation to be in, but the farmer ultimately decides to just tolerate the darnel until harvest time, then split the plants up and only keep the ones that are actually wheat, the faithful. In the same way, our faithfulness is shown by how we live our lives, and whether we repent and seek forgiveness for our sins. That determines whether we end up in the barn, the life we're meant for in heaven, or being burned up with the other weeds. Next, the fisherman's net. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.